Um, and the person said, I saw this new YouTube, uh, the, this Twitter nonsense, this sort of backlash on Twitter against full self-driving. I did not think that they're able to appreciate the technology either fundamentally or globally. I mean, anybody with a bit of experience in IT or tech should be able to understand the differences between full self-driving beta and Waymo. Although they're very against Waymo. People are taking sides on this, Brian. Sides. Waymo is nonsense. But isn't it cool what? that... Your, your car, your car, Brian Stockton, could be a flick of a switch and become full self-driving. That's the difference. The Waymo cars are very, very expensive and have big things on top floating around with radar. But your car, you're just a consumer. You're an average guy. You're an average guy, I'm Brian an average Stockton, person, yeah. At best. And well, you could just I'm, have full self-driving. I'm going to have to pay for the update, I think, just uh, so that we have something to talk about on the podcast. But <laughs> the thing I was most impressed with in terms of like the videos that are coming out on YouTube is that there's already been two or three updates and uh, it's already improving from the first one that came out uh, like, you know, a couple of weeks ago. It's, it's moving very fast.